Today's MTV OmniFashion collection is summed up in one word, variety and quality. Check out the Madonna. It's the seal. Say hello to the Soul Asylum. Unbelievable. It's the TLC. MTV Omnifashions. We have something for every head. Hi, I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News Brief. Def Leppard drummer Rick Allen was arrested in Los Angeles International Airport on Wednesday night and charged with spousal abuse. Allen allegedly slammed his wife Stacy into a wall and tried to choke her. He was later released on $50,000 bail. Police refused to divulge more de details, and Def Leppard's management has as yet had no comment on Allen, who lost his left arm in a car accident a decade ago, but has continued playing on a specially designed electronic kit. That's the news for now. Stay tuned for more Around the Clock here on MTV. Dinsy 90. Mm. To be mindful of the consequences of my actions and compassionate of my partner's well-being. Mm -hmm. I should be practicing safe sex. I should be having sex. Mm. Eh. It would pass. I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News Brief. Hole, currently on the Lollapalooza tour, will have a sort of new six-song EP out in September on its old label, Caroline Records, which has held up the record for two years or so. Titled Ask For It, the EP's cover will feature a photo of a young person's wrists with the scars of an attempted suicide. Inside will be some live BBC tracks and covers the Velvet Underground's Pale Blue Eyes and Pacific Northwest punk forefathers, the Wipers, Over the Edge. Hole and Lollapalooza play Kansas City, Missouri on Monday. That's the news for now. Stay tuned for more throughout the day here on MTV. Elizabeth Bentley lives in the euphoric world of her dreams, but she demands more. With MTV, she thinks she can intensify those dreams. Soon, she enters a world of sensuous, pleasurable, watery sensations. What to us appears unreal becomes for Elizabeth an intense reality. But sooner or later, she must return to the world of normality. Different people react in different ways to MTV. I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News Brief. It'll be another three weeks before toxicology reports determine the exact cause of death of 17-year-old fashion model Chrissy Taylor, whose body was found last Sunday at her parents' Florida home by her model sister, Nikki Taylor. An over-the-counter primatine mist asthma inhaler was found near Chrissy's body, although she'd never been medically diagnosed as an asthmatic, which the primatine label stipulates as a condition for the medicine's use. That's the news for now. Stay tuned for more throughout the day here on MTV. Another brother died young from a gunshot to the face killed. As we feel the pain, his soul's erased. A place in time where drugs and crime dominate. It tears the heart apart when a brother's fate is decided by another of color that makes us less. Regrets and respects are paid as he's laid to rest. But I won't rest because I'm tired of what's going on. Community's torn because another brother's gone. Prevented, I believe it could have been. We all conceive it should have been. The violence has got to end. How long will it take? How long will we have to wait? I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News Brief. A man who seemed to be under the impression that he was Madonna's husband was shot in the hand and the stomach by security guards on Monday night after scaling a fence around her Los Angeles home. Madonna wasn't home at the time. 37-year-old Robert Hotchkiss, who said he was from Walla Walla, Washington, was reported in stable condition on Tuesday. He'd been caught on April 8th trying to break into the house, which has reportedly been up for sale for months. That's the news for now. More on this and other stories throughout the day here on MTV. MTV.